American actor and stand-up comedian, Richard Belzer, has passed away at the age of 78 on February 19. The cause of his death was complications of unspecified circulatory and respiratory conditions. Throughout his illustrious 40-year career, he appeared in 79 films and TV shows, and was best known for his iconic portrayal of John Munch in 122 episodes of Homicide, Life on the Street, and in 326 episodes of Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, a role he played from 1993 to 2016. Belzer also appeared in several notable films and TV shows, including The Flash, Species 2, and Scarface. His last role was in the 2016 film The Comedian, in which he portrayed himself. American actress and model Stella Stevens, known for her roles in classic films such as Girls, 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 1962, with Elvis Presley, The Nutty Professor, 1963, with Jerry Lewis, and The Poseidon Adventure, 1972, with Ernest Borgnine and Jean Hackman, died on February 17 at the age of 84 from Alzheimer's disease. Throughout her career, she also appeared in films including The Ballad of Cable Hogue, Arnold, The Courtship of Eddie's Father, The Manitou, and The Silencers. On television, she appeared in series such as The Love Boat, General Hospital, New Heart, Murder, She Wrote, Heart to Heart, and Twenty Good Years. On February 19, American actor Jansen Panettiere, younger brother of Hollywood actress Hayden Panettiere, passed away at the age of 28. He was best known for his roles in films like The Perfect Game, The Martial Arts Kid, and The Secrets of Jonathan Sperry. Additionally, on the same day, one of Britain's legendary sports presenters, Dickie Davies, passed away at the age of 94. He had hosted the television sports program World of Sport for 27 years, from 1968 to 1985. On February 18, American actress Barbara Boston passed away at the age of 83. She was best known for her role as Fafarillo in 103 episodes of the TV series Hill Street Blues, for which she received five Primetime Emmy nominations. Barbara had an extensive career in television, appearing in many series such as Hooperman, Cop Rock, and Murder One. On the big screen, she appeared in films including The Last Starfighter and Calendar Girl Murders. On February 15, Hollywood icon and model Raquel Welch passed away at the age of 82. Rising to fame in the 1960s, Welch's career began with appearances in TV series such as The Hollywood Palace, McHale's Navy, and Bewitched. However, it was her roles in films like The Three Musketeers, Myra Breckenridge, Fathom, and One Million Years B.C. that made her a household name. Her iconic poster from One Million Years B.C. even appeared in the movie Shawshank Redemption. Throughout her career, Welch appeared in a total of 73 films and TV shows. Melinda Dillon, an American actress known for her roles in films such as Harry and the Hendersons, A Christmas Story, Magnolia, and The Prince of Tides, has passed away at the age of 83. She passed away on January 9, but her death only became known a few weeks ago. Dillon was twice nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her roles in Close Encounters of the Third Kind and No Malice. Her last major role was as Ginger Templeman in the 2007 film Power Over Me. Additionally, Christine Pritchard, a Welsh film and television actress who appeared in dozens of films and TV shows, passed away on February 14 at the age of 79. On February 21, Austrian actress Nadia Tiller passed away at the age of 93. Throughout her career, she appeared in both British and American films, including The Poppy is Also a Flower and The Rough and the Smooth. On February 8, American actor and musician Cody Longo was found deceased at his home. At the age of 34, he was believed to have passed away from alcohol poisoning. Cody had a short but prolific career in the entertainment industry, having appeared in numerous films and television shows. 
He was best known for his leading role as Eddie Duran on the popular series Hollywood Heights, as well as for his performances in The Last Movie Star, Secrets and Lies, Nashville, and Days of Our Lives. On February 23rd, legendary BBC football commentator John Watson passed away at the age of 77. Throughout his career, he provided commentary for over 2,000 matches. On February 8, legendary composer and songwriter Burt Bacharach passed away at the age of 94 due to natural causes. Over the course of his illustrious career, Bacharach was the recipient of numerous awards, including six Grammys and three Oscars. His timeless classics, including I'll Never Fall in Love Again, Anyone Who Had a Heart, Magic Moments, and Make It Easy on Yourself, earned him an impressive 73 top 40 hits in the United States. In 2015, Rolling Stone recognized Bacharach as one of the greatest songwriters of all time. On February 17, American composer Gerald Fried passed away at the age of 95. He had a career spanning more than 70 years, during which he composed music for numerous films and television series. Fried was also nominated for five Primetime Emmy Awards, winning once. American country music songwriter and Kelly Pickler's husband Kyle Jacobs passed away on February 17 at their home at the age of 49. Jacobs was a co-author of popular songs such as More Than a Memory, Still, Dust, Rumor, and Eighth World Wonder. English actor Lee Whitlock, who appeared in numerous films and TV shows, passed away on February 17 at the age of 54. American catcher and broadcaster Tim McCarver passed away on February 16 at the age of 81. He had a 21-year career as a player in Major League Baseball and won two World Series championships. After retiring as a player, he worked as a broadcaster for Fox Sports. In 2016, he was inducted into the Sports Broadcasting Hall of Fame. Peter Herndorf, a Canadian lawyer and media businessman, passed away at the age of 82 on February 18. He was a former head of the National Centre for the Arts, publisher of Toronto Life, and chairman of TV Ontario. Acclaimed Scottish-born Australian film director, George Miller, passed away at the age of 79 on February 17 due to a heart attack. With a career spanning over several decades, Miller directed more than 20 films and series, including the likes of In the Nick of Time, Robinson Crusoe, Zeus and Roxanne, and Journey to the Center of the Earth. His contributions to the film industry will be remembered and celebrated for years to come. Tom Luddy, the co-founder of the Telluride Film Festival and film producer, passed away on February 13 at the age of 79. Luddy was a prominent figure in the film industry and produced critically acclaimed films such as Mishima, A Life in Four Chapters, Manifesto, and The Secret Garden. His contributions to the art of cinema will be remembered by filmmakers and film enthusiasts around the world. On February 13, British-Pakistani actor, director, and television broadcaster Zia Mohyeddin passed away at the age of 91. With a career spanning several decades, he appeared in numerous films and television shows, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. English film director Hugh Hudson, best known for directing the acclaimed 1981 film Chariots of Fire, passed away on February 10 at the age of 86. Chariots of Fire was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won four. Additionally, Spanish fashion designer Paco Rabanne died on February 3 at the age of 88. Rabanne was known for his avant-garde clothing designs and also gained popularity for his fragrances, including Lady Million and One Million. American rapper David Jude Jolie Kerr, widely known as Tribway the Dove, passed away on February 12 at the age of 54. As a founding member of the hip-hop group, The Lost Soul, he made significant contributions to the music industry, and in 2006, he was awarded a Grammy. On February 2, Lanny Poffo, a professional wrestling star and brother of Randy Savage, passed away at the age of 68 due to heart failure. Poffo was most recognized for his contributions to the World Wrestling Federation. 
On February 13, Mexican-born American painter Jesse Trevino passed away at the age of 76 due to cancer. Trevino was renowned for his vibrant depictions of San Antonio's culture and lifestyle. Kate Hesketh Harvey, a British musician, composer, and comedian who was best known as a member of the famous cabaret duo Kit and the Widow, passed away on February 1 at the age of 65. His career in entertainment spanned several decades, and he was highly regarded for his wit and musical talent. Foreign Hall of Fame professional wrestler and promoter Jerry Jarrett passed away on February 14 at the age of 80. He was a prominent figure in the world of professional wrestling, having founded the TNA Wrestling Promotion, now known as Impact Wrestling, and played a key role in the development of the industry. Simone Edwards, a Jamaican-American basketball player, died at the age of 49 on February 16 due to cancer. Edwards played for the Women's National Basketball Association, WNBA, from 2000 to 2006. She had a successful career, and her contribution to the game of basketball will be remembered. Demetrius Stanley, an American football player who gained prominence playing for the Ohio State Buckeyes, passed away on February 9 at the age of 48. The cause of his death was cancer. Renowned South African rapper Kiernan Jared Forbes, popularly known as AKA, passed away on February 10 at the age of 35 after being fatally shot. AKA made his mark in the music industry with his debut studio album, Alter Ego, in 2010 and gained widespread recognition for his hit songs like, Star Signs, The World Is Yours, All Eyes On Me, Composure, and A Fella in Versace. Despite his untimely demise, his latest album, Mass Country, was released on February 24, 2023, two weeks after his passing. Stanley Wilson Jr., who played for the Detroit Lions in the National Football League, passed away on February 1 at the age of 40 after collapsing. Renowned American jazz drummer Butch Miles passed away on February 2 at the age of 78. Miles was best known for his work as a member of the legendary Count Basie Orchestra. Inga Sargent, an Austrian-American author and human rights activist, passed away on February 5 at the age of 90. She was well known for her work advocating for refugee rights and was the author of the book, The Undesirables, Inside Nauru, which chronicled the lives of refugees in detention centers. Jack Taylor, an American broadcaster, passed away on February 3 at the age of 94 due to heart failure. Thank you for watching our coverage of the notable figures who passed away in February 2023. We hope that our tribute has honored their legacies and contributions. If you'd like to stay updated on our future videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update.